Hey guys, today I want to show you my new script management system called SMART. It's something which is really helpful for keeping everything organized inside a project, no matter if you're working alone or with lots of other artists. I wrote this plugin to make projects more organized. In your everyday's work you probably have to do lots of different jobs inside of Nuke. Setting up everything is always pretty annoying, takes time and can introduce some naming conflicts and so on. With my Nuke plugin Smart you just have to tell Nuke in which project you want to work and how the script is called. Everything else like setting everything up at the correct location and versioning of your Nuke script is done automatically. With this you will have much more time to concentrate on the compositing job. But first things first. If you're working in a team or alone, you'll probably have a central project folder or server with some structure. So let me show you what I've got here on my computer. I've got a hard drive called Projects and inside of the Projects folder I have all the several projects I, I'm working on. And every project has the same structure. With this I keep everything really organized. For example, here in 06 Application Data Nuke, I put all my Nuke project files and if you're working on several projects setting up everything on the right location is always pretty annoying and takes some time so this is where Smart can be really helpful. So first let me show you how to install it. To install it it's pretty easy you just have to go to your Nuke home directory and here I have this Smart plugin and you just have to put it in. So now what you have to do is to tell Nuke whenever it starts to load this smart directory. So what you have to do is you have to write one line of code. What you have to write is nuke.plugin add path and here how the folder is called. It's called smart. And if you don't have an init.py file, just call it like this. If you already have one, then just add this line to your already existing init.py. Hit save. And you can close it. And here's my init.py. And whenever you start Nuke, you tell Nuke to load the smart folder. Okay, let me close it. And now let's open Nuke. So, welcome to SMART. Please make sure to insert all the inputs correctly in order to make SMART work correctly. This is really important. You have to tell SMART where it has to look. So, let me show you. Project path. What you have to do is tell Nuke where all your projects are. In this case, it's here on desktop projects hit open. With this default artist input, for my example it's SJ for Simon Yokushis. And with script path you tell Smart where the Nuke projects go inside of a project. So let me show you. So here I always have the same structure. Let me go just in one project. My Nuke projects always go into 06 application data, Nuke, Nuke project. So let me just copy it. Application data, Nuke, and Nuke project. All my renders inside a project go to 06 application data nuke from nuke from nuke Please note if the nuke script and render directories don't exist inside your project then smart will automatically create these folders for you on the fly I'll come to this checkbox later So now press okay and in order to make Smart work correctly, you have to restart Nuke. So hit yes. So and now if we open Nuke, we get this Smart Project Setter and where we have to tell Nuke just two things. 
create new script and which project we want to work on. For instance, let's just take the smart video intro. Default artist, that's fine, that's me. And script name, let's call it smart intro composite. And here we can put in some optional comments. For instance, smart intro basic first composite. Hit enter. And now everything is set up automatically in the background. Let me show you. If we go back to the projects folder, inside of smart video intro, inside of application data, nuke and nuke projects, there's my artist folder, sj, and there's my script, smart intro composite. Let me extend it. And here's the project node I wrote, smart intro basic first composite. And this is my nuke script, which was automatically put in there. The name goes like um, the script name, add, and the date and the time. And with this, you will get versioning of your nuke scripts. So let me go back. And let me quickly do some compositing work. So I'll be right back. Okay, here I'm back with my composite. It's actually the intro of Smart. Did some compositing work, changed the colors a little bit. And now if I wanna render it out, you just select the node from where you want to render. Go here to Smart and Smart Render or Control or Command R. And here's the Smart Renderer. And if this checkbox auto execute is um, checked, if you click OK, then everything's set up automatically and rendered. And just leave it like it is. Um, import render and finished. This is like when it's finished, the render will be automatically imported. Here you can change which channels you want to export. Uh, RGB is fine. If you want to export some other things, just Deselect auto execute, click OK and change the settings manually. File type TIFF is OK. Um, for this example, let's just render from 30 to 60. And here you can also input some optional nodes. For example, my first render. Click OK. And if we now jump back, if we now go to this from nuke folder which includes all the renders here's my artist folder my script and this is exactly um, this is exactly the name which the script name is and here you can already see there my render goes automatically in so if you did it manually you had to navigate to this folder and here you just press command or control R and hit OK and everything's rendered to the right location. So let's wait till it's finished. So here I get a little window smart render finished, hit OK and the render is automatically imported. So here I can check the render. So now let's say we want to change the smart logo. For example, let's desaturate it. If we go into the saturation node, the mask is on the smart main, which is a color ID for this smart object. And if I desaturate it, we get this. And if I now render, press Command R again, Let's again say from 30 to 60. And here we can put in some notes like desaturated smart logo and press OK. Um, then we get a newer version. So the older version doesn't get overridden, which is really, really helpful because nothing anymore gets overwritten. You get all the versions here. And the cool thing is, if I now jump back, I have 
also these versions they don't get overridden so I get completely control over my versions nothing gets overridden so let's wait till it's finished so smart render finished it's getting imported again and here it is so let's now say I'm a different artist and I work on this project as well so let's make a new nuke script and because I've worked in this smart project um, it's listed here at the top and let's just say I'm a different artist who's working and on this machine and let's just call this one house roto so if I jump back to this project folder in smart video intro application data nuke nuke project here there's the new artist with this new script and here's the nuke file also in from nuke which is my render directory I get this render so one more thing I want to note whenever we go here to smart and smart safer a new nuke version will be saved for example here I'm at this time and now if I hit smart safer I get a new version here if I do it again I get again a new version and if you go back to smart settings if you check this checkbox always smart save is whenever you uh, go here to file save it's always saving a new version here if you hit show recent files let me check this hit ok um, you get this drop down now which is um, which shows you all the recent files and this one here is only showing the latest version of one script I just want to mention if you start nuke and you don't want to actually work with the smart project setter you can just hit cancel or ok and changing nothing here and this will start nuke as normal so this is smart a cool plugin which really keeps your projects organized if you're working alone or with other artists. So if you like it, feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you. With a thicker coat of rust and dust I guess there's nothing left to discover So let's just park our cars and...